Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready for some fun paper play today? Well, today I've got sitting on my desk some game cards and uh, these make incredible, useful things for junk journals. I mean, we can make so many things out of them. And I thought I would just give you a little tour of a few things that I've made and then we'll make some together. These are super easy. Anybody can make them. And here is where I get my game cards. So if you have kids, this is what you do. You tell them that there's a big chocolate cake in the fridge and then the herd, the stampede runs to the kitchen and then you make a quick left into their bedrooms and ferret through all their games and steal their game cards. Okay, maybe that might not lead to a happy household. So plan B is maybe try going to your local thrift store or checking with your friends or family if they have any old games that they're not really using anymore. And uh, I came across a bunch of these um, uh, I think these are Trivial Pursuit. It says young, maybe this is a version of it, young players. But um, um, uh, these, you can buy like a whole box of Trivial Pursuit cards for not much if you can find them. And other game cards work as well. Just, the nice thing about the game card is that it's kind of the perfect thickness. And uh, not too thick, not too thin, and very playful. We can make a million and one things with this. So let's go from a basic to a little fancier. I'll just show you some, some of the things I was kicking around here on the desk. All right, so this would be the first one. This is super simple. Here's my first example. I actually just took a book, uh, book page and glued it to the front and used a uh, marker. Which marker did I use? This marker. Just a Sharpie marker, fine point. Um, it's probably got some name on it. I don't know. Sharpie pen. Fine. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I just drew in those things and then inked it up with a little bit of to do, 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 do. Worn lipstick. Yay. Okay, so that's pretty easy, right? Anybody can do that. And um, uh, so what is what is that kind of pocket? Well, that kind of pocket, or actually, I guess it's a tuck because it's a two side, would work something like that. So you could put writing paper or any kind of magical things that you have collected along the way. All right, so that's number one. Uh oh, I should leave them marked or I'll never remember what I made. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's that one. And then let's go to the second. Nope, nope. Here we are. Okay, so this one is a very, uh, I did a, a little mini collage. Let me get a good or orientation here for you. Um, and I had a bunch of postage stamps hanging around from a uh, bag of postage stamps that I bought. And these are still on the cover, but I think they make really pretty um, collage elements. Now you could collage the postage stamps all together, or you could put a plain or simple background and just put an accent postcard here, or postcard, postage stamp here and there to use as um, an adornment. And uh, so that gives you a lot of ideas. I also put a little uh, corner, a book corner here protector just for fun. It was a very small, thin one, and I just squashed it in place with a little bit of glue. And then this guy will work as such. He's um, also a tuck. All right, so the next guy, who's the next guy? Where are you, next guy? All right, so this one is very simple. I took some music paper and I just happened to have some uh, music uh, in small sheets hanging around. And I thought that would be very nice to uh, cover um, a game card on. And then I just used a little rubber stamp in the corner and a little bit of do do do. Do, 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 do. What color was that? That was evergreen bow. There you go to ink around the edges. Now this one, I made a U-shaped pocket. So this pocket will actually work as so. Yes. So, and then, you know, you could go from there, but just different options. And literally I am, let me just swing you over here using what's on my desk. There's a pile of stuff and I'm uh, working through using it up. Um, okay. So there's that one. And then what, what did I do something here? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, okay. This one, it's not actually attached by this. Uh, this is an upper tuck. And uh, so here I just went around with the uh, evergreen bow. Nope, nope, no, big fat liar. Um, this one is broken china, but apparently my, um, I'm using the green, the green dauber and it's commingling with the other evergreen bow. So that's why I'm getting multiple colors here. And apparently I used a, uh, where, 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 where is that guy? Where is he? Here he is. A paddle brush to do the stenciling um, from this stencil. And so you can, you know, um, 
stencil on top of the things that you put on. You can rubber stamp, you can um, add stickles, you can do all sorts of things. So there's so many easy things and you can completely transform which is originally a game card into so many different things in your book. And um, you can use these for, uh, this one I'm, I've designed as an upper tuck. So I'm just gonna tuck something under it like that. Uh, and that will hold it very nicely. It doesn't need any extra uh, clips or pins or anything like that. And it can be a little surprise spot. And the last one, doo -doo -doo, big finale, woo is a fabric covered one. I just had some little tiny pieces of fabric sitting on my desk. So I didn't have enough to cover the whole thing. So what I ended up doing was I had a square. So I glued the square down um, with doo -doo -doo, Scotch Create glue stick. You, you can use any glue, I'm sure. And uh, then I just made a U-shaped square out of this upper, this top fabric, and that created an instant little pocket. And then somebody very kind sent this to me. Thank you very much. So I thought she would just look adorable right in there, tucked in there. Um, so this 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 entire piece is adhered to the um, the page, and I use uh, Fabrifix for that. In case you're wondering what that looks like, Fabrifix. Okay. And uh, it's stuck in there. I can't get it out right now. Um, okay. So uh, like a million and one things. You could use these to make little journal covers, little mini journal covers. That would be fun too. But let's just um, make a couple of these together. Just goofing around, using up some of the stuff on the desk. And today is one of those um, low stress, easy peasy. Just grab what you got. And if you don't have um, game cards, playing cards will also work as well as you could just take a cereal box and cut it up in similar sized pieces and then you're going to have a whole bunch to work with. They will be a little bit thicker than this. Another uh, item that is similar to this thickness, maybe a little thicker depending on the, the card, but greeting cards can also be used the same way. They're just a little bit thicker than regular paper and they make great um, little pocket and tuck material. So. There we go. All right, let's make some of these. How fun is that? All right, what are you doing, Sunny? Sleeping, sleeping, Mom. Okay. Well, we're just uh, laying. Okay, so there's nothing super fancy going on today. Um, oh, yeah, well, the big exciting thing is we're having a, a big storm going on. And um, um, so we're riding that out and we're crafting because that, that keeps my, oh, look, I glue all over this place. Um, Mama calm. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we do. We've already um, done. Okay. This is a little trick. If you're, you're like trying to get the edges, it's important to get the edges when you're going to cover these cards. So if you take your glue stick and you, you kind of fan around to the edges from the center, you're more apt to get the, uh, the edges. And that's just kind of a quickie little easy peasy tip there. Hope you're having a fun day. And uh, what was the first one? Oh, I did a book page the first time. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a random book page because you're at a book page, but it tore. So I'm thinking, well, what can I use this for? I have um, pictures, I have words. I think that this is kind of cool with the text. Let's see if I can figure out how to use that somehow. Okay, I might not get it all, but I'll get some of it. Get most of it. Okay, here we go. Okay, what did I get? I don't know. Let's just see. We're going with it, whatever it is at this point in the day. All right, not bad. And then I'm gonna take sanding block or sanding sponge, whatever you wanna call it. But this makes easy work of um, getting the edges nice and flush. And um, uh, people can also, I've heard them use um, uh, emery boards work just as well. Any piece of sanding paper will work. I mean, just this gives you a little bit. If you have sanding paper, I would say um, maybe staple some to a block or a, a little chunk of two by four, or maybe you've got anything that is kind of a block shape, like a old, uh, I'm thinking like an old chalkboard eraser. I don't know, I don't know how many of those those are still hanging around but you know what I mean like something like in that shape where you could staple it to it or glue it to it just to give it a little bit more stiffness and it'll make it quick and easy work of getting your edges nice and flush. Now the game cards have square edges usually playing cards have round edges both will work and if you like the round edge look just grab a uh, crocodile corner chomper and chop some round ed edges. Um, okay so that's what I got. Okay, so um, this one doesn't have a picture on it, but maybe I will put a picture on it. How about that? That looks like a toilet, but um, it's not. It's a something to do with barbecuing uh, pigs outside, something like that. But okay, so here we have a little fire. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's kind of cute, that little... Can I get that whole picture on there? Um, well, let me, let me try ripping it out. I'm going to go for the, the 
the, uh, the good old ripping technique to see if we can, uh, sometimes it's easier than fussy cutting and it requires no tools. Yay, no tools. Um, so that can make life very relaxed, very easy. And when you're riding at the storm, when you're riding at the storm, you want things to be easy and breezy. Yep, brought in all the, the flying uh, debris kind of stuff. Okay, are you gonna fit? No, you're not bad. You're not bad. You're like, just kind of sort of make it. Um, I kind of like it though. I'm gonna get a little thinner, a little thinner. Just a little, just, okay. Um, okay, there we go. So now to emphasize around the edges, I think I'm going to take some black ink. Are you too far away? Maybe you want to go closer. Okay. I'm going to take some black soot. Distress ink. That's just regular stuff. Um, any black ink will work. And okay, let's see. Where's my black dubber? It was right here. Here it is. Okay. And we're just going to ink this little snuffer up and pop them on there. Um, Things can come out looking really cool and you don't have to have a lot of product. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is you might have some game cards laying around and you might have some scraps laying around and you can just have a, a whole boatload of fun, a whole boatload. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Actually, I think I want to make a little pocket out of that. Okay. All right, I'm going to do that. Um, yep, totally changing the plan here. Way to go, Pam. Yeah, show them the prototype and then don't make it like the prototype. Okay, so if I just stuck that on there, that would be a lot like the, the prototype. I'm just, amped. I don't have a picture on here, so I just want to amp it up a little bit. Um, but I think I'm just going for it. I'm going to make a little pocket out of this. And this is just book page. It's not super thick. It's strong enough. You know what I mean? You kind of got to get a feel for your book page. If you think it's going to be strong enough to handle something light and small in there, then go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. Okay, we'll put you there. How about that? Middle of the road. I'm a, we got a pile of stamps here too. Let me back up a little so you can see. We got a pile of stamps, so maybe I'm going to tuck some cute little colorful stamp in there. Let's see. We could tuck you in there. All right, we'll just put some of you guys in there. Why not? You're not here doing nothing. Okay. All right. Who else? Who else wants to play? Well, you come over here. What are you? Well, I got a whole bunch of you over here. All right. How about you? Yeah, you look cute in there. Give you one more. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Hold on. There's dinner. Okay, I'm back. You know what's kind of funny is uh, when the um, the oven timer goes off, the Sonny and I both go <laughs> marching into the kitchen. It's like he already knows that that's a food sound. <laughs> All right, so everything is well in the kitchen. Uh, okay, we'll just go a little closer and see how we can we can amp this up a little bit. We'll just have a little more fun. And uh, this is yeah, pure playtime. This is just goofing up, and I'm gonna take maybe. I'm gonna leave the back on. I don't feel always like we have to tear everything around from the stamp. We can leave it as is and just use it in there too. Why not, right? Um, so there we go. Maybe I wanna do something with the edges. Do you wanna do something with the edges, Pam? Okay, all right. Oh my God, I'm talking to myself. Oh boy. No, I'm talking to you guys. That's right. It's totally you guys, right? Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> Phew, thank you. All right, just going around with some black soot just to give it a little bit of contrast pop. And there we go, an instant little uh, pocket. Now you don't even have to do any of the frontal stuff. I would just, because it was here, and I'll just show you what that might look like on a journal page. Um, and I think this stuff made from scraps actually looks cool. Like, I don't know, I just, I really, I really, I love to make my own embellishments. I have a funny feeling you guys might like to do that too, of stuff that you have. It, it lends a lot of charm. There's nothing wrong with using the pre-made stuff because um, it can get fussy. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's a little fussy, but uh, if you really like to use up your own stuff and um, put everything to a new home, go for it. Yeah, that's pretty in there. Isn't that nice against the pink? Okay, so possibilities. So I could turn that in and to glue it here and here in the back. And then I could have my little, my little pocket, you know, stuff like that. Very easy, right? Okay, so let's move on. That was pretty easy. I'm going to put these up here so I know where they are. Okay. Okay, so the next one, I got to go peek again because I forgot what I made. Um, oh, yeah, the stamps. Okay, uh, so let's say we're going to collage. And, um, okay, so you saw me collage, or you saw a example of a stamp collage. Let me just show you that again. Here's the stamp collage. That's all stamps and covers and stuff like that. And, uh, but this time I was, um, I'm going to ridiculously, uh, collage. I have a lot of leftover pieces from post 
postage stuff. And I think I would like to collage with that. Maybe just use an accent stamp because maybe not everybody has a hundred, a hundred stamps, but maybe you got postage stuff, you know, from old letters and stuff like that. Maybe you want to use those little bits. So let's grab one of these guys. Super easy. Okay. I hope you guys are safe and happy wherever you are. And I hope uh, you're going to put your scraps to good use. Whatever you do with them, it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah. Don't be afraid to go out there and be adventurous and try something a little risky with those scraps. Just go wild. And uh, um, here, here, that's kind of cool. There's a nice big piece. Let's start with that. That's sort of cool. And I can remember I can scrape the edges off. So don't worry if it goes over the edges because we have our ways. We have our, our ways of doing that. That looks kind of cool already. A nice contrasting piece on here. Okay. I'm going to have to come back and seal the, uh, the little pieces that are sticking out. Um, what, what else we have here? We've got some more stuff. What's that? We could stick that on there. I'll just about cover it. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. All right, let's not get too fuss fuss about it. Let's just do it. But yeah, we can always fuss fuss after. All right. And you can fuss it up before if you want. But I'm going to fuss after. Yeah, I'm just going to go for coverage first of all. Okay, so we have that. All right, glue down. We have a corner. All right, maybe we'll maybe we will put a stamp in the corner. It's a nice little green stamp. We want maybe something with contrast. How about her? Yes, very purple of her. Oh, okay. No, no, not the right one. Maybe this one. Okay. How about this one? All right, we'll just glue it down. See what happens. Put the glue down. Okay. See where this lovely will take us. Make sure she's on fully. Okay, she's on fully. All right, is she glued all the way? Maybe not. Let's give her a little extra glue down here. All right. Okay, now let's try that trick. Let's see if it goes through the thickness of envelopes. Because that's what these are from. These are called covers or envelopes. The outside of letters, um, you'll see them in the trade known as covers. So you can look for, like, let's say you're looking on eBay or something to find some a bag of stamps. You can find just loan stamps that have been uh, removed from their backing, from their covers. Um, so usually soaked off, or I think that's how they get them off. It's a big process. Or you can buy them with the covers, and they'll be a little bit less expensive, uh, but you get more background paper. But I think that background paper is pretty. Don't you think that's pretty? Um, I, I like uh, postage, and it doesn't have to be old postage. It can be new postage, but you'll find that, um, you know, the stamps, they're, they're, you can get some really cool ones. And maybe you want to um, look for stamps that you like, like maybe like butterflies or birds or something like that, or just grab bag, you know, let's just take the wind and see what happens and that kind of stuff. Now you can, you don't even have to go around and, and um, take off all the sides. You could just leave it rumply, which is a whole other look. Yeah, nothing like a good rumple. And um, get a little more glue in there. Okay. All right. So now, so I did. I cleared two sides. Now I could go around, but I kind of like. I kind of like it. I kind of like it looking um, piecemeal. And uh, let's see. Maybe get some brown. Which walnut stain. And where's my little, my poor little brown dauber who's uh, seen better days? He's like, he's like, he's hanging by a thread, hanging by a thread. But uh, we're gonna take him as far as he'll go. That's right, little brown dauber. Come with me. Okay, just going around the edge here. Okay. I think that's kind of pretty. Okay, little pieces falling off. Okay, goodbye. All right, I'm gonna fuss on you. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's pretty just like that. Now you could you could add more to it, like you could stamp a word. And I think this is the uh, the stamp I had, so we'll just stamp something on there because it's here. I mean, I don't have to leave my chair. <laughs> I'm just a lazy crafter. Lazy crafter alert. Okay, here we go. All right, there. There we go. There. So, I mean, it can be as simple as that. And this can become a corner tuck or a regular pocket, depending on how you glue it. Or you could glue it across the top, stick it down. It could be under tuck. You could put it this way, glue it down here. It could be a side tuck. So a lot of ways that you can use these. Um, okay, so we'll put that in the done pile. And then let's move along to, oh, this this is pretty. I, I really want to make something out of this. Just a, a, like a, a page from um, a field guide. 
and I just I think these are so pretty and this is a great way to use up those individual pictures um, so let's just make one we can make one fast what, what the heck we're sitting here right um, yeah so yeah waiting on the storm it uh, the storm I guess is gonna I, I, this might be a day late by the time you see it but um, the storm is expected to come around uh, sometime today sometime today so we're just kind of sitting here waiting and watching we brought, pulled in all the stuff you know what I mean stuff came in and got everybody organized went out and bought a little extra water i have gas got the generator all that kind of stuff i'm not really expecting much but just don't want to be caught off guard i'm like preparatory sally you know i like to like to have things organized and I'd rather have um too much organization yeah like that's gonna happen in my craft room um and then not need it you know what i mean so went out did a little grocery shopping last night just in case we need food for a few days and um, I, I really did try to focus on healthy food because we didn't eat so healthy over the holiday. No, 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 no. It was a disaster, shall we say. <laughs> um, so we're making amends. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Now we're coming. There, okay. There, isn't that pretty? I mean, like, insta-pretty. You know, like, there's really very little to do, and you're there. You're just there, and you're doing good. Um, so let's put some color around here. Let's put a nice contrasting color. Maybe a nice green for the, uh, the inkiness of it all. And there's my green dauber. I do put a little string on there just to, to kind of remind me what dauber it belongs there. But I do cross-pollinate a lot. I openly admit to doing that. It's okay if you do. No big deal. So what, right? It's only ink. It's only paper. Um, you might get a shade off. You know, if you're a purist and you want your colors pure, get like individual pads that can Velcro on and off here. And then some people stick them under here. That way you always have the color associated to the actual, the pad and the color together. Um, that's never going to happen in this shop, but, um, you know, to each his own. There are ways. Oh, that's, that, I mean, you know, hey, that's pretty. And, and you don't really need to, there's my, my husband talking during a video. Hi, my love, doing a video. Um, <laughs> And uh, he's just realizing it. Now, I think I'm going to actually emphasize this with a little bit of black. I don't know why. Just something with the, uh, the black. Go check out lunch, honey. And uh, coming around the mountain here. And, uh, oh, there's long guy. Yeah, it's one of those days. I guess everybody's trying to get everything done before, you know, everything hits. There. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's look at that on a journal page. I mean, there's like nothing to these things. There's nothing needing to be done. Done. So pretty, right? I mean, easy pretty. Perfect thickness. And there we go. All right, so let's do the fabric one. We'll do the big fabric finale. Okay, somebody clean up this mess. Sunny? I'm on it, Mom. Okay, no, he's following Papa. I think Papa just snuck some, snuck some food out of the pot. Yeah, I think that's what I just saw. I saw little, not little feet, but big feet clump by. There was some digging in the in the meal pot, and then there was a little bowl that traveled that way. Mm -hmm, that's what happened. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of these. This was very cute, very easy, and it's just a little easy pocket. So I want you to know these are easy. There's no rocket sciences. These are all no-sew. You can totally bring in sewing here and have a, a rock and roll time with that, or not, or not. So just take it as you, you want to take it. So here, I just grabbed some quilting fabric, but you can pretty much use any fabric. A thin fabric would be your best friend here, like a cotton muslin or something. Grab an old shirt um, and have fun with it. Okay, let's see, let's just try that. Maybe we'll try one of these again. I guess that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah, maybe not the right color. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. No right or wrong way to do these. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, look at that. Is that gonna work? That's kind of nice, I like that. Okay, let's try that. So, um, if, you haven't, if you haven't torn it to get the pretty fray edges, let's just glue, glue it. No, let's, we better tear it first. Okay, so we need about that much. Can you see? Okay. All right, snip, tear, love the tear, loving, love tearing fabric. It's so, I don't know, there's something, it's like you're not supposed to do it almost, you know, like, oh, don't forbid, don't tear the fabric, you know, we're always taught, like, oh, you tore your clothes. No, not my clothes. Oh, my, my, <laughs> my husband had a little tear in his jeans, and we was putting them on the other day, and his big toe stuck through the hole, and it, the whole thing just went, yep, so, uh, 
but he put him on anyway and he carried on. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> um, okay, so how long do you need to be? Let's just measure. Hi, long guy. Much appreciated. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Yep, you have impeccable timing, Mr. Long Guy. There you are. Okay, so don't worry if it's a little short because you're gonna you're gonna make a skirt on it, and you could just cover it with this. You don't have to go any further than that. But I just want to show you how to make the quickie pocket, which is so unbelievably easy. Okay, okay, lots of that. And this um, Scotch Create Fabrifix seems to hold fabric pretty well, like for these light jobs. Let's call it a very light job. It's a very light job, very light fabric job. Okay, just make sure you go high enough. Make sure you go wide enough, and you just plop her down and then you're done. And if you want to use one of these, because you have it, and I really like this stuff, so I want to use it. Um, no more saving the pretties, right? That's the mantra for 2021. No more saving the pretties. Okay, let's see if we can get this off of here. Eh. Okay, yep, that worked. Now it's probably not going to want to tear this way. It's probably going to... No, no, I don't want to tear. I don't want to tear that way. No, because you already told me that. I only tear one way. I know, I know. Let me just see. Make sure you go a little wider than you need because a tear will shrink up your, oh, a tower. Uh, tear up your sizing. Sometimes you have to re-straighten, and that's okay. Or, or just tear some more off. Feather your little edges if you're a featherer. There we go. There. All right, so we're going We're going to go like that. That's very cute. So since I can't get a fine point with the um, scotch cake glue stick, I'm going to come in with my, my big gun, my Fabrifix. So I'm just going to, oh boy, little strings everywhere here. Okay, are you close enough, can you see? So exciting, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I don't know, sometimes the simple, oh, what on earth is, oh, no, that's the wrong way. That's my ceiling every, and we're back. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, if you ever wondered, that's what it looks like. Okay, and we're just going to down, across, and up, and down, across, and up. Okay, I'm gonna make a U-shaped pocket. And I put that in a sugar barrel icing pack bean bottle in case you're wondering. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna make it a little lower than, and a little, make sure it just covers everything. I like it kind of wider. See, it's a little bit wider than the, the um, other one. Just kind of, I don't know, a little sense of fatness there. It's kind of a cute chub. Um, I'm gonna come in here and just darken this up a little bit. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see. Whoop, that's too far. Whoop, there you go. All right, and just giving, I want it to pop against the paper, that's why I'm doing this. But this is not necessary, but I've got so much ink on here, I might as well use it. Right, Sun Bun? Go for it, Mom, go, go wild, go, go, go crazy. Okay, look at me, I'm going crazy. I'm working up a good appetite, yep. For my healthy food, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doing so good on day one here, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes in a few days. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, so can you see that whole page? No. Okay, so I think I'm just going to glue that down there. So I'm going to glue the whole back. See these? I mean, these game cards are so easy and so user-friendly. Perfect thickness. Um, Trivial Pursuit ones are awesome if you happen to come across those. Uh, and often they do. You can maybe buy the whole game. Like sometimes you can buy the whole game for not much, you know, like a buck or two bucks or something. And uh, you'll get all those cards because there's so many cards in a Trivial Pursuit game. Another good one I think is Pictionary, maybe. Uh, double check on that. I haven't actually looked at one in a while, but I would think that one would be good. Okay, so let's stick something cute in there. What are you? Nope. Um... Well, we have this. This is a very pretty little parrot. Uh, um, this is a, a Victorian die cut style, 1960. It might be a reproduction style. Those are very beautiful too. And they're beautiful colors in that. You could just tuck anything you like into that little pocket. And there you go. So if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. I do have some more. Um, I have completed some more ephemera collections, also known as fundals. And those are collections of old papers and um, old ledger, old music paper, old dictionary, uh, old, uh, not old, but uh, some hand dyed paper that I made, um, all sorts of fun papers um, uh, that you, you might have fun with in a junk journal. And um, I make these kits up and then I hard copy mail the whole kit to you. So if you're kind of wondering what is what, the digi kits are printed out by you at home. There's nothing mailed. And the ephemera collections are actually uh, the real stuff where I, it's really the stuff 
that I use in my journals and I'm kind of going through my supply and um, uh, realizing that I have way too much stuff. And um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And those are available for sale in my Etsy shop if you're looking for those. And um, what else have I got going on for you? Oh, if you find out, I think I said that, Never mind. Um, click the notification bell. What? I'll get sunny in the meantime. All right. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter if you're looking for that. It's in the, the link is in the description box below the video and you get a free uh, digital image emailed to you monthly as well as, um, oh, I want to show you one more thing before we go. Um, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is. You're welcome to use it, change it, uh, print it out and uh, make it your own. Hello, everybody. Just want to say a quick hello and um, be safe and well. Take care. And um, what else? Well, podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, I'll come back in. It's more interesting to look at me. Um, <laughs> um, I, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having so much fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And I just love seeing what you guys make from these videos. You guys are awesome. And oh, I wanted to show you something. Can, Sunny, can, can you go get that thing? Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, anybody. She wants to show you something. Okay, so my grandmother came over on a ship line called the Cunard, C-U-N-A-R-D, uh, back from Hungary many moons ago, and I found this. Dun -da -dun, dun -da -dun -da -da. What is this, you say? This is the log book from, the, uh, from a Cunard ship. The, the case, it is not actually the log book, the log book was already gone, but this is the case from which would hold the log book. And um, I thought that was pretty cool. I guess this is sort of how it operates, I don't really know. But um, it has this cool little thing. Look at that, isn't that neat? But then when I saw it, I, and I saw it was from the Cunard line, I had to have it. I don't even know what year this is or anything more about it than that. But um, um, I, yeah, I just thought it was kind of cool because look at the, uh, the workmanship on the front of this thing. I gotta do something with this, right? Right? This thing, it's metal. I think it might have leather on the top. And uh, it's just a really cool piece. So I just have it sitting here on a desk in my craft room, just for inspiration I think about grandma. Um, it says USA and Canada. I hope you can probably see it better than me. Um, oops, nope, can't see anything, even with my glasses. Maybe you guys can read that, can you read that? Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I didn't, I was looking up different kinds of books, you know, and um, log books, I was exploring log books and a lot of shipping log books came out and but the case the case from which it came or what went in, in it was available for me to find and i was so excited so that's what i got just wanted to share that with you guys um kind of it's heavy it's heavy the whole thing is metal probably weighs two pounds maybe three pounds maybe two pounds uh, but very interesting thing if anybody knows anything more about this i would love to hear about it because I'm, I'm kind of at a loss but I just thought it was something kind of cool. Um, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. And let me just remember, let me just show you what we made. We made that. And I'll just put these on here so you can see them. We made these guys. Yeah. All right. And uh, there you go. So take care. Have lots of fun. Happy crafting. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.